Welcome to Next Service Desk. In this session, we're going to look at how to print an evacuation list in System 1. The System 1 evacuation list is designed to be used as a register in emergency situations, for example, when the fire alarm is activated. The list includes all patients with appointments with a current status of arrived, in progress, or waiting at the selected branch site. Staff currently logged on to System 1, or staff who have left the building without logging off, will also be included in the evacuation list. So check the last activity column in the users on the LAN pane to see when the person last used System 1. The evacuation list cannot include the following. That's patients whose appointments have not been marked as arrived. Patients whose appointments have been marked as finished. Members of staff at the selected branch or site who do not use System 1. Members of staff at the selected branch or site who are not logged on when the list is printed. Also, anyone who has accompanied a patient to their appointment. Anyone who has walked in without an appointment and visitors to your organisation who have not logged in through System 1 will also not appear on your evacuation list. So in the event of a fire or a necessary evacuation from your practice, you'll need to go to the appointments option on the top menu. Click on appointments and then go down to print evacuation list. When you click on that, it goes through a process of detecting other branch sites and everything else that's connected to your network and then it will come up with this print evacuation list window. From here you can print this off directly to your printer and you'll have the list to take out with you. So you can see from this window that there are three columns. You've got your patients, users with the rotors, so your staff, and also users who are on the LAN or the, the local area network. Prior to printing, you can go to the settings option at the bottom if you want to to specify the size of the printer or which printer you want to print it to. When you're happy with that, click on OK and then press print and your list will then go to your printer. When you've printed your evacuation list, you'll find that two sheets are printed. You'll have the ones for patients in at your site or branch name and the dated time of which the patient's appointment time was, their name, date of birth and age. Also, the other sheet will then include the staff and again, the site and the branch name and the date and time. This list gives each staff member's name and location if set in system one. To ensure maximum information is included on the evacuation list, all staff should check their location is recorded on System 1. And I'll show you how to do this in the next slide. So each of your staff members, when they log into System 1 on their various PCs, will have to go through this process to ensure that the system knows their location. So what you need to do, at the top menu, go to System, Go down to PC settings and here on the right hand side you can see it's asking for the location description and all you need to do is just type in there where you are based. So in this instance say consulting room one and then when you're happy with that click on OK. That will then store that information in system one and next time you need to print out an evacuation list it will give the precise location of that member of staff. Thank you for watching this video on how to print an evacuation list in System 1. If you require further assistance, please call the next service desk. Thank you.